Hello, my name is Frédéric Deham and I'm the Strategic Development Manager for the Roofing and XPS categories at Suprema. Today I'm with Martin Tessier, Technical Director at Suprema. Hello, Martin. Hello. You have no doubt noticed that Suprema is constantly evolving. That's especially true in recent years as we've adapted our offering to the changing needs of industry professionals. The Extopra XPS extruded polystyrene manufactured in Sherbrooke and the Colfinage rubberized bitumen are two good examples of this. Recently, Suprema has been offering a synthetic solution for single ply roofs, PVC from the Sentinel line. These products stand out from other single ply synthetic solutions on the market for their performance and ease of installation. First, Martin, can you explain the reasons why Suprema specifically chose PVC as a single ply solution for the Canadian market? We opted for PVC because we believe that is the best performing single ply technology that brings the most peace of mind for building owners. PVC products are more durable, more reliable, and better suited for the harsh Canadian climate. They are quick to install, thanks to the ease of installation and the size of the roll. They are also easier to weld in a variety of environments, both hot and cold. They have inherent fire resistance with low mineral filler content compared to other synthetic technologies. Thanks, Martin. There are several PVC manufacturers on the market. So what makes the Sentinel line different from other PVC lines on the Canadian market? We could summarize the Sentinel difference in three main points. First of all, the minimum thickness. All of our membrane are manufactured with a minimum thickness in order to provide a more durable product than some other PVC membrane on the market. The ASTM standard for PVC allow a variation of 10% from the published thickness, which is called the nominal thickness. Some manufacturer will therefore aim for a thickness of 54 mil to save on manufacturing costs, but still less on the technical data sheet 60 mil. 10% less material can affect the quality of the membrane welds and also their durability. At Suprema, membranes are manufactured according to a minimum thickness, not a nominal thickness. This means that when you buy a 60 mil or 80 mil membrane, you're getting a membrane that is as thick as published, not as thick as tolerated by the standard. Secondly, our polyester reinforced membranes provide excellent tear and puncture resistance. The density enhanced polyester thread provides superior tensile and puncture resilience, while the insertion of a diagonal crosslink thread maximizes tear resistance. Thirdly, all of our membranes are made with a unique composition or grade of PVC, both above and below the reinforcement. Indeed, in order to reduce their production costs, certain competing membranes have a hybrid composition. An example, an upper layer of a certain PVC grade and a lower layer of a different grade. Unfortunately, this way of doing things can compromise waterproofing by impacting the quality of the welding in the joint, since two different grades of PVC are welded. As for the Sentinel membrane, the use of a single PVC grade for the surface and the underface translates to a best possible weldability, therefore the best possible seal at the joints. These three aspects always bring us back to one thing, peace of mind for everyone, whether owner, contractor, architects, or occupant. We didn't want to compromise on the quality of our PVC by cutting cost. We always try to offer the best possible product. This is the case for our elastomeric membrane, our insulation products, and our adhesive, and we sincerely believe that we offer the best single ply solution on the market. Thanks for the explanation, Martin. Speaking about the offering, can you tell us a bit more about the Sentinel PVC product line in more details? Yes. The Sentinel line is a range of synthetic thermoplastic PVC membranes. Suprema offer different type of membrane according to the preference of professionals and contractor in order to meet the requirement of all types of projects. Membrane can be mechanically fastened, adhesive applied, and induction welded. They are offered in several configurations, either with a smooth underface or laminated with a polypropylene needle felt. They come in a thickness of 60 mil or 80 mil. All Sentinel membranes are high performance, very flexible, easy to weld and to handle. In short, several products are available to you according to your needs. 
All right, and what about the accessories? Yes, you're right, accessories are important. Sentinel line will not be complete without all the accessories required to achieve a roof system. We therefore offer inside and outside corners, waterproofing pieces for the various roof projection and the walkway pads to name a few of these accessories. In addition, we offer different compatible adhesive and sealants. I would now like to discuss the performance of Sentinel membranes, specifically the four following points. Wind uplift resistance, fire resistance, chemical resistance, and their reflectivity. Regarding wind resistance, as mentioned earlier, there are different types of membrane. Adhesive apply, smooth, with felt, mechanically fastened, etc. Wind resistance does not only rely on the resistance of the membrane themselves, but on all the components on the roof assembly. Depending on the membrane, type, but also on the component and fastening method, excellent wind uplift resistance can be achieved with Sentinel membrane. The most usual system have been tested to CSA 12321 standard, and there are over 800 assembly tested as per FM 4470. Sentinel membrane are therefore an excellent choice for the owner whose building are FM insured. Okay, so I understand that wind uplift resistance depends on a lot of factors, uh, including the products used in the system and the method of installation. Is it the same for fire resistance? Regarding fire, there's the resistance of the membrane and the resistance of the assembly. The membrane themselves have excellent fire resistance and some assemblies achieve the highest rating, which is class A according to ULC S107, the standard required by the building code for the fire resistance of roof material. It's the chlorine component on the PVC that provides this natural fire resistance and reduces the need for significant addition of mineral filler or flame retardant to increase fire resistance, as it is the case with many other types of waterproofing membrane. Thanks, Martin. Chemical resistance is also a major issue for several professionals like building owners. The membranes must not only resist the weather, but also several chemical contaminants. Correct. In general, PVC membranes such as Sentinel provide very good chemical resistance to many contaminants such as caustics, cleaners, and chlorine. However, even though thermoplastic membranes are not significantly affected by most chemicals that can be found on a roof, any type of membrane has its weakness. The chemical resistance of membrane depends on the concentration, the temperature, and duration of exposure to a contaminant. If in doubt, Suprema chemists can issue an opinion on this matter if provided with the exposure conditions. Another critical aspect in the selection of roofing products is reflectivity. Many cities have requirements in place that mandate the use of roofing products with a high SRI. The Sentinel line makes it possible to achieve a very high SRI or solar reflective index, which can reach up to 108 initially, one of the highest values in the industry. The Sentinel line also does well in the long term with good retention of its SRI after several years. This is an excellent solution for cities such as Montreal and Toronto, which have regulations regarding the reflectivity of roofing materials to reduce the urban heat island phenomenon. Now, Martin, let's talk about installation. As we know, work on construction sites now takes place all year round, summer and winter. Martin, can you tell us more about the installation of PVC membrane at cold temperatures? The temperature limit for the installation of PVC membrane depends on their method of installation as well on the site condition, not on the membrane themselves. It's the adhesive that are limited and do not allow installation in cold weather. Mechanically fastened or induction welded membrane can be installed in winter condition as long as the temperature of the hot air gun can be kept at a suitable level in order to obtain a quality weld. For that matter, experienced roofers carry out welding tests at the beginning of the day and adjust their welding speed according to the temperature. In addition to the cold, the amount of wind is also a factor to be taken into account. By considering all these aspects, an experienced installer can properly manage the installation of PVC in cold weather. But speaking about certified installers or experienced installers, do we have a certification program for this product line? If so, how can we get it? As of January 2023, Suprema will offer a training program for its client 
in each region across the country. Though contractor will be able to register roofers for these training courses to qualify as certified PVC installers. For contractor, employing installers who have completed advanced training in the installation of a, our roofing system is the first step to becoming part of Suprema's network of certified contractor and having access this way to material and workmanship warranties for Sentinel memory. We talked earlier about performance and durability and especially peace of mind for the homeowner. What can they expect in terms of the useful life of a Sentinel PVC roofing assembly? Good point. The durability of a roof assembly does not only depend on the quality of the membrane, it depends upon the selection of quality products, good assembly design, careful installation of all the components by the contractor, as well as regular maintenance by the owner. By choosing quality products such as the uh, Sentinel PVC membrane, by specifying assembly that have been tested for wind uplift resistance, and by entrusting the installation to an experienced contractor that is recognized for this type of work, the project manager has the assurance of offering the owner a durable roof assembly. Then it will be up to the owner to take care of it by making sure to carry out preventative maintenance. When all these conditions are met, the durability of a Sentinel membrane roof can reach up to 30 years. As you mentioned, Sentinel membranes offer several advantages such as thickness minimum, enhanced reinforcement, and a composition that promotes maximum joint sealing. What about the warranties offered by Suprema for the PVC roofing assembly specifically? Suprema offers various warranties that cover the performance of Sentinel membrane. In addition to the basic material warranty, Sentinel membrane are eligible for material and workmanship warranty that cover the entire roof systems. These are referred as Mammoth warranties. This warranty period varies depending on the choice of the membrane type, the thickness, but also on the selected warranty itself. The cover range varies from 10 to 20 years for the Mammoth Plus and the Mammoth Platinum and can go up to 25 years for the new Mammoth Altitude warranty. Thanks for explaining more about the warranties. The reason we are comfortable offering long-term warranties is based on over 50 years of experience and expertise in the field that Suprema gained with, with the acquisition of a European manufacturer of synthetic membranes in the early 2000s. Thus, Suprema has earned itself a choice position in the market for single-ply solutions. In addition, Suprema has been carrying out projects with PVC Sentinel products across Canada for a number of years now. All over the world, roofs with Sentinel membranes dating back more than 30 years are still in perfect condition. So Martin, we will end the discussion with a question I think we receive almost every time we talked about PVC. In what situations would you recommend a PVC roofing assembly compared to an SBS two-ply system? That's a very good question. Um, choosing a roofing technology depends on the specific need and condition of the project itself. The first conditions to assess are the roof's exposure to weather, traffic, and other outdoor conditions that may influence the long-term performance of the roof. Are significant accumulation of snow and ice expected? Will there be any modifications to the roof during its useful life? Consideration must also be given to local requirements such as the membrane solar reflectance. Of course, the budget allocated for the project must also be taken into account. That said, for each technology, whether elastomeric or made of PVC, there are entry-level option and heavy-duty option version to choose from. Roofing system price can overlap depending on the choice of component ranging from the vapor barrier, the waterproofing membrane, to insulation product and membrane support panel. Personally, if I were the owner of a very large building which required high reflectivity as well as a good fire and chemical resistance, and I wanted a quick installation to limit the cost, my choice would definitely be a single ply sentinel membrane. I agree, Martin. The two technologies can coexist and their use is relevant on the Canadian market depending on the nature of the project. 
Thank you very much, Martin, for your time and expertise today. We hope you enjoyed this informative discussion about our PVC Sentinel line and that you learned something new. If you have any questions about the line, I invite you to contact your Suprema representative or to visit our website for more details. Thank you for your attention and I wish you a great day.